Knowledge is fun. Knowledge is cool. One. Knowledge with Nolan. Hi, I'm Nolan Winking. Back with another episode of Knowledge with Nolan. Today, we're going to be talking about brain freezes, hiccups, and sneezes. Have you ever wondered why you get a brain freeze when you eat ice cream? Have you ever had the hiccups that just wouldn't go away? Have you ever wondered what brings on a sneeze? Let's dig in and find out in today's episode of Knowledge with Nolan. Let's start with brain freezes. We get brain freezes because of a chemical called prostaglandins. Try saying that five times fast. Prostaglandins, 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 prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are released from the brain to protect us from harm. This usually happens when something really cold, like ice cream, or something really hot touches the roof of our mouth. As a response, your brain tries to make the temperature of your mouth a normal temperature again. So it says, release the prostaglandins! <laughs> and when that chemical triggers, it gives you a mini headache which we all know as a brain freeze. A brain freeze isn't harmful, it's just painful. Here's the trick. The next time you get a brain freeze, hold your tongue to the roof of your mouth like this. This helps neutralize the temperature of your mouth by warming it up or cooling it down. It should only last about a few seconds and then it should go away. The average brain freeze lasts about a minute, but it feels much, 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 much. To prevent brain freezes altogether, eat cold and hot foods slowly. Now, let's explore hiccups. <laughs> hiccups are just simply a reflex. There is a muscle in your body called the diaphragm that plays a very important role in breathing. It's located between your chest and your abdomen. Hiccups are caused by an involuntary contraction of the diaphragm, which causes your chest and your abdomen to spasm or shake, and your vocal cords to close very briefly. And when your vocal cords close very briefly, it forces out some air and produces the familiar hick sound of a hiccup. Hiccups occur when there is a disturbance in the nerve pathway from the brain to the diaphragm. The most common causes of hiccups are swallowing too much air, eating too quickly or too much, feeling very excited or very nervous, acid reflux, or a sudden change in temperature. While you've probably heard dozens of home remedies to cure hiccups, like having someone scare you, there isn't much scientific evidence to back them up. Although medical experts do say that holding your breath for several seconds and then slowly breathing out might do the trick, since it would increase your carbon dioxide levels in the lungs, which can relax the diaphragm and stop the spasms. Hiccups are so common that all animals hiccup. Kittens, lizards, and even fish hiccup. I think kittens would have the cutest hiccup. <laughs> Hiccups can be annoying, but they aren't harmful, and they're usually short-lived. Next, let's explore sneezes. Achoo! The main reason we sneeze is because it's our body's way of clearing out potentially dangerous irritants in the nasal passages. Although, exposure to a bright light, a sudden drop in temperature, Exposure to allergens or viral infections can also cause sneezes. The main purpose of a sneeze is to expel mucus containing foreign particles to clear out the nasal passages. Many irritants can trigger a sneeze, including dust, pollen, or animal dander. When our body senses an unwanted germ that made its way past our nasal hairs, called cilia, and is irritating our nasal mucosa, it triggers the release of histamines. The histamines irritate the nerve cells in our nose, which signals the brain to initiate the sneeze through the trigeminal nerve network. Sounds official. The brain then activates the pharyngeal and tracheal muscles and creates a large opening of the nasal and oral cavities, which causes a powerful release of air. Achoo! Sneezing can also be triggered by sinus nerve stimulation, which is caused by nasal congestion when we're sick and from allergies. Sneezing is a semi-autonomous reflex, which means you do have some control over it, like blinking or breathing. Ha! Ah. Sneezing can send tiny particles out of your nose up to 100 miles per hour, 
Whoa! That's a lot of speed for a sneeze. Sneezes are so powerful because they're a reflexive response, and they involve the face, throat, chest muscles, and diaphragm. Your sneeze spray can travel from a 5 to 30 foot radius. Wow! That's why it's important to cover your nose and mouth when you sneeze. Thanks for watching, guys! I hope you enjoyed this episode of Knowledge with Nolan! See you next time, and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button.